what we are going to cover in this video is Java variables. What are variables in Java? So okay, so let's just get started. A variable is a container which holds the value while the Java programs is executed. Okay, a variable is assigned with a data type and the variable name is the memory location. Okay, so what it means you can see here is a pictorial representation of what I said. So suppose this is a RAM memory and you have created one variable here and you have assigned value it value 10 to the to that variable okay so variable is nothing but a container inside your memory which holds a particular value and what kind what kind of value it's going to hold it depends upon the what type what data type you have given to that variable okay so you can assume it like a reserved area inside your memory okay uh, so moving ahead we have types of the variables okay so there, there are three mainly three types local instance and static so let's see one by one each of them okay so what are lo local variables a variable declared inside a body of the method is called as local variable and you can use this variable only within that method and other methods inside that class aren't even aware that the variable exists so we will see the implementation part of this local variable, instance variable and static variable once we get into the code. Okay, for time being, just listen to me and try to understand. Okay, the next, next one is instance variable. A variable declared inside the class but outside the body of the method is called as instance variable. And it should, it should not be declared as static one. Why so? I will also tell you in the coding part of that video. Okay, so moving ahead, we have the static variable. A variable that is declared as static is called a static variable. It cannot be local. You can create a single copy of the static variable and share it among all the instances of that class. Okay, and the memory allocation for those sta static variables happens only once when the class is loaded inside your memory. Okay, so enough talking about the theoretical part. Let's just get into your IDE and code it out okay and along with during coding part implementation i will be discussing some variables rules to declare a variable okay so there are some six to seven rules are here which you need to keep in mind while declaring a variable okay so just open your ide and create one new project and create one new file here and you can create a new file also by clicking here on src just right click here new java class and let's suppose i am giving a variable as my name class name variable okay variable tut and hit enter so it will create a new class as you can see let me increase the font size for you so that you can see clearly okay I hope it is visible now and let me create one main method so one one added advantage of using this IDE is, is you can you don't have to write all those codes like here you, if you can if you want to write, write the main method you can just simply type main main and hit enter on the keyboard and it will automatically write those main method for you and you can start coding okay so first of all let's see what are those three types of variables that I have told you uh, previously that those are static variable local variable and instance variable and what are what are the difference between all these okay so let's suppose if I create one variable here let me create static int m is equals to 100 okay so for time being i know you can't you don't know the static and int keyword so in upcoming videos we will be covering data types there you can understand just for time being understand this is a uh, variable that is m and i have assigned value as 100 to it okay so you can see here I have declared this variable inside the class but outside the main method. So this method, this 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 type of variables are known as static 
variables okay I, and you, you can comment write comments in the your java program by giving the two forward slashes and writing the comment inside it okay so again i inside the class but outside the main method i will be declaring one method okay so return type of my method would be void let's suppose i have created this method and inside this method i will be declaring one variable okay so the variable which i declared named n and i have assigned value to it is 90 okay so these kind of variables which are declared inside a method okay so these are local variables means the scope of these variables are only limited to that method means outside this method from line 4 to 6 this variable is not accessible inside your class okay i will comment it out okay and now the last one is instance variable okay so inside i have come inside the main method and declare another variable name as int data and i will assign value to it is as 50 okay so these variable are called as instance variable so here you can see what is the def formal definition of the instance variable? A variable declares inside a class but outside the body of the method is called an instance variable. Okay, so you may think uh, what is the difference between instance variable and static variables? Variables because the, both the variables are declared outside the method body. Okay, so the only difference is for the static variables you just give keyword as static ahead of that variable which you, where, where you have declared it okay so i hope you have cleared idea about what are the variables and what is static local and instance variable so i'll be giving you some basic program of addition of the two numbers okay so let's just get started uh, wait i will start from here i will just comment out this line and add the comment as addition of two numbers okay so what are what are the variables you think we required for addition of the two numbers okay so i need one variable which hold the first value and i need another variable which hold the second value and i need the third variable which hold the addition of those two numbers okay so let's create int a is equals to 10 and another variable int b is equals to let's suppose 20 and another variable third variable which will hold the addition value of a and b i will write a plus b here okay and to print something on the console we just write system dot out dot print ln okay so here in this id you have also a shortcut to write this you just route write s out and hit enter the id will automatically write system dot out dot print ln for you and i will be printing c here okay so let me just comment out this part of the code that i don't require okay and i will hit run okay so here you can see my file is getting run and here you can see on console 30 is printed because the addition of the a that is 10 and b that is 20 is 30 and which is get printed on the console here okay so uh, another another example let's suppose we have you have to subtract those two numbers so simply you, here you can come here and give b minus a or something a minus b whatever you want and you just click here the code will get executed and here you can see 10 is printed on the console because 20 minus 10 is 10 
so this is the basic uh, very uh, basic theory and practical implementations of the variables in java i hope you guys have understood the what are the variables uh, how it works and how it stores the data okay so in the upcoming video we'll be talking about data types in depth okay so thank you guys for watching this video i will see you in the next video